Uh, it's YouTube Wednesday. This will be a short one. Um, I'm doing a quick airbrush wound job on Kalen. He works for me at Screams, right? You yeah. scare people and stuff. Okay. Do you say boo? No. Good. Awesome. That's what he's supposed to say. I'm going to take this piece of regular paper. I'm going to make a quick stencil from it. I'm going to fold it. Just see it right That's here. Is that easier to do? <laughs> Trying to track the paper. It's hard, isn't it? All right, piece of paper, regular old paper. Ba da da! I've now made a wound stencil. I'm gonna take white first. If white shows up on his skin, I'm not saying you're pale or anything. I'm gonna fill in my stencil. Fill it in. It's now a white wound. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to put it back on by lining it up. And then I'm going to kick it over so I have a flesh edge showing on this side. That means I've got white showing on the other side. That's going to turn into a highlight. Did my black. That gives me depth. I'm going to hit it with my red. It'll break up some of that black. But it leaves me my white highlight, and I got a nastiness inside of it. I'm now done with that stencil. It's disposable because it's cheap. I'm just going to frame this wound with a lovely aura of infection. I'm going to go back to my black. I'm going to pinch my hose while I'm working with the black because I don't want that. I want little. I want just a bit of air, just a bit of paint. I'm doing an under shadow. Where my highlight is, it's raised. So I put a shadow on the other side of the highlight to show that that's the top of a raised piece. Now I'll do a shadow on the other side that doesn't need the highlight. I'm just testing on my hand because that's here and quick. I'm going to grab a brush and some blood gel and I'll be right back. A little bit of my uh, nasty blood, good stuff. And I really just want to put it inside of this wound to give that a little more depth. I'm going to clean off the brush. And that highlight looks a little rich to me, so I'm going to tone that down just a bit. That's a quick gash on the arm. You want to get a the closer in the stuff? Closer. Closer. <laughs> Alright, that's a quick airbrush. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You're trying to kill me. What are you doing with that? You're pointing like a weapon. Um, how many minutes does it stay on there? Five and 19 seconds. This will be the shortest YouTube Wednesday ever. I should do something else so you don't feel ripped off. Okay. Okay. I'm about to do a makeup. Right now. Uh, I just have black in the airbrush. Uh, this is Kyle. Kyle, open your eyes, say hello. 
Alright. Alright, I'm coming at you. I'm going to be going at your eyes. Alright. It's important that you talk to your model. I don't know why. It just is. It's important that your airbrush works. As I'm coming at you. I'm just going to highlight, or I'll darken, not highlight, inside of his eye and then come across. So I'm really only hitting half of his eye with this shade. That's a little too light. I got my needle all the way up. I'm going to back my needle out a little bit. And now I'll pinch my hose to control my pressure. I'm going under the eye. I'm following the nasal labial fold, which on Kyle is partially hidden by his uh, beard stash. He does not have very mean looking eyebrows. He has that one eyebrow ridge straight across there, and I'm going to separate that and give him a bit of an angry expression. Do me a favor, look a little bit to your right. Stop. There's a part of the skull here, which is the zygotal arch, I think it's called, and I want to bring that out. I'm, I'm doing light layers so that I can build it up. I want to build it up as I go. I don't want to put it all down at once, even though that's a bit faster. I have more control and I'm less heavy handed if I do it in pieces. I want to identify his cheekbones. I don't want to force cheekbones if they're not there. I want to use what I have. But I'm going to put a little bit of cheekbones in. I'm going to pull that up into my eye shape. A little bit of cheekbones. His face kind of does that. If I ignored it, I would not be being true to my actor. I'd be ignoring his facial features, and I want to accentuate them for my use in the haunted house. I do not want to ignore them. Look up for me. Uh, I want to accentuate the neck muscles because neck muscles flare when you're angry. So I want people to see those. This is a very simple, very subtle makeup that I'm just knocking out pretty quick. I'm switching to a reddish, orangish, happy color. Oh, I cannot pinch the hole. I have it ruined. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can. Okay. Close your eyes. Just hitting under the eyes, and I let him know that I was coming. Look at me. Okay, I'm going to spray around your mouth now. So relax your lips, but not so relaxed that it makes the noise when I shoot air into it, okay? <laughs> it does. You've been there. messy eater. Really messy eater. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of blood gel and I'm just going to hit that red paint a little bit to break it up and make it look less like paint and more like it has some substance and some consistency to it. Magically delicious. Alright, make some scary faces for me. 
Oh, that's creepy. Kick you in the shell. Scary face. <laughs> Do I exist? You exist. Right. Uh. Woo! <laughs> Lovely. You have to put that in there. You two went there! <laughs> <laughs>